all right good morning guys now it's been a while since I made a video I want to uh, at least on this particular trip that I'm on keep, uh, bring you guys up to par and then we're gonna continue with the video from this point um, I picked up a load uh, that had two drops in but I picked up the load in Nashville North Carolina uh, one drop Napoleon Ohio the other drop Chicago Illinois Napoleon Ohio was at noon yesterday uh, 12 o'clock sharp and of course the Chicago Illinois was for 4 a.m. this morning make a long story short I made that delivery in Napoleon 12 noon yesterday as soon as I, I, I got offloaded real quick was out of there probably in 30 40 minutes got my bills we took off we got as far as the Indiana Ohio state line I get a call from the broker the broker says you left freight on the dock what freight I said what freight he said the freight that you left on the dock I said I don't understand I just got offloaded in Napoleon she gave me my bills, said I was good to go, didn't tell me about any, any freight that was left on the dock, and I took off. I got as far as Indiana and Ohio State Line. The broker calls me, you gotta go back. You gotta pick up these eight skids. Okay, so I guess, I said, you realize where I'm at, right? Yeah, but going back and get them. I said, all right, I have a 14-hour clock. It's going to mess up my delivery for 4 a.m. on Monday. God, we'll get it worked out. No problem. Just going back and get them skids. So I turn around. I go back to Napoleon. When I get there, it's, cr it's called cross-docking. In other words, another truck brought in eight skids. They want to take them eight skids off that truck and put them on my trailer and charge me for reloading my truck with the with these eight skids. I refused. I said, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to pay to have you guys put these eight skids on my trailer. I refused to. I said, I'm going to get out of here right now. Broker calls me back. He's having a heart attack, right? Why aren't you picking up the mate skids? Well, I'm not picking them up because I ain't paying to have them loaded on my trailer. First of all, it's Sunday. There's nobody in the office at Marquardt Skyway. So, I can't just pick up the phone and say, Listen, I need an advance or I need uh, an express code to pick up these eight skids. So, he tells me, he says, I'll pay for them. I'll take care of it. So, all right. So, I go and I said, they're going to pay for it gives me an EFS express code for an EFS check I fill it out come to find out they don't take EFS checks they only take cash or comdata and they weren't going to touch now by now they they already put the eight skids on my trailer you got me I was getting hot I called the broker up. I said, they won't take this EFS check. I'm going to need a Comdata check. Oh, we don't do that. Now, from that point, he hung up on me. And from that point, I can't get him on, on, the, uh, on the phone anymore. So I'm hot, right? So I go back inside the code storage. And I said, it's got to be this check, guys, because they don't do com check. They're not answering the phone anymore. Either you guys take this check or you take that freight off my trailer. You take the stuff that you just put on my trailer, get it off there. So luckily there's a guy named Mike that was there that's in charge of this code storage. He said, let me see that check. I give it to him. About 10, 15 minutes later, he said, all right, it's a good check. So they, I was able to actually pay for the eight skids that they put on my trailer and we took off. We got as far as Porter, Indiana. We got here yesterday afternoon. I took my 10, but obviously 4 a.m. this morning I had to make a delivery. Can't make the delivery. So I called, told them what happened. I said, but I'm not gonna make it there at 4 a.m. 
Well, you know, we charge for a late delivery. Or you got to reschedule. I said, then we'll reschedule. Because I'm not going in there paying. I, you know, I'm not going in there paying to get into a dock. So we'll just reschedule. He said, well, you can come in here. You can park. We have a lot here. You can park here. We'll see what we can do for you. I said, all right. Now you got to stick around for the rest. Because the rest of it will be on video. Um, I have the GoPro up. I have the other camera up. I got another camera up. So from this point on, we'll show you what what's going to happen next. So stick around. We are making a video with me, the puppies, the truck. We're back. We'll talk to you guys later. Stick around and see the rest of the story. Later.